Hey everyone, Corey here from the Techies, and today we're going to be working in After Effects to create a very simple text drop, drop down animation. So if we want to go ahead and preview this, very simple, that's what we're going to be making today. Let's get started by adding a new composition here, and I'm going to go ahead and add a new solid, layer solid, white's fine. So the first thing that we had, if you noticed, was the background was a little bit of a gradient. So we can do that by going to Effect, Generate, Gradient Ramp. And so I had a radial ramp. Again, these kind of these tutorials are all about whatever you want to make. So you can copy what I'm doing, or you could do something completely on your own. So what I had is I had a white fading to a kind of grayish color like this. So actually, this is exactly how I had I had it. But if you wanted to have your um, your positions of your the ramps starting from the middle if you want to do something like that you can if you want to do something like what I had I'm gonna do that because I think it looks best It's kind of like a spotlight thing I had it position at the top and the position at the bottom and we'll move this around uh, something like that I think looks pretty good um, so there we go there's our background very easy to do so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create our two text layers in this case I'm using two but if you want, you can just use one and have all of the text come in from the d same location. I thought I'd be a little bit creative here and have two different uh, text layers to show this tutorial. So the first thing I had was 5,000. And the next text layer was miles. And I had different type uh, line weights. I had ultralight and I had a just a semi-light. So what I'm going to do... All right, so what I went ahead and did is I went ahead and aligned everything. So if you don't have this align window over here, what you can do is you can go over to Window, Workspace, and actually you don't even do that. If you go to Window, you just click on the word Align. It'll open up the Align window, and it'll help you um, basically move things around correctly and align things properly to their true center. It's a really helpful tool to have, and it's really simple. So now we're going to start animating. So we have our two text layers here. So what we, we, what we can do is if we open both of them, you'll see there's a little animate button on both of them. So if you click animate and you click position, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the first effect, which was the text dropping down from above. So in my case, I had the text dropping down from above and then the other text dropped down from below. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply change the position here from, let's say, 100, and this one can be negative 100. All right, so the initial starting positions of the text are offset. And so now, let's animate it. So if we go over to uh, Range Selector 1, so this is basically the controller. This is the animation controller for this animation here. So if we go ahead and start our animation by just clicking the little time, I'm sure you know about that. So I want to start at I would say let's say 10 frames let's go ahead and start there put our keyframes there and I'm gonna start it at 0% and let's say at another 20 frames this time we'll crank that to 100 crank that to 100 so as you can see already the text slides in alright very easy right so the other thing we can do is we can highlight these keyframes hit F9 and that, that'll um, smooth out the animation just a little bit. All right. So the, the last thing that we had was we had a very easy opacity transition that also followed the position animation. So to do that, or to honestly add whatever kind of effect you want, whether that be position or blurs or, or rotations, you, you click here on the animator and add a property. So we're going to be adding the opacity property to both of our texts. And a little note here, I am aware that we can simply copy these effects to the second layer, but I just thought this would be um, better for tutorial purposes. If you have multiple of these animations and you do want to just copy over the properties, you can actually just click on um, really any of this. If you want to copy the same animator, you just control C, control V onto a different layer and it will copy it over. So now that we're in our opacity layer, from start zero, we're going to go ahead and set both of these to zero. And uh, let's go ahead and see what happens. So if we play now, 
Well, there you go, guys. Very simple. I'll play that again a little bit bigger. As you can see, as the text falls in, it also gets blurred in, kind of fades in like that. Very simple to do. This animation, animator one, range selector one, is your master controller for all the effects that you add under this tab. If you want to add something that's independent of it, it's all you have to do is click animate, and it'll create a new animator. So it'll be animator two. But if you just want to add things that are controlled by one thing, you just keep adding effects into your animator. So that's it, guys. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you for watching. This has been Corey from the Techies.